Hi, welcome back to the CCST 1968 lecture videos. Like in many of our videos, we will address various adaptations of AI in different professional fields. And in this video, we will mainly talk about AI in insurance. So the big question is, why do we need AI in insurance? We need AI in insurance because insurance companies often have problems determining risk premium. And what is a risk premium, you may ask? A risk premium is a measure of excess return that is required by an individual to compensate them for being subjected to an increased level of risk. It is widely used in finance and economics, with the general definition being the expected risky return less than the risk-free return. Information asymmetry often occurs between the insured and the insurers. The insured often knows better than the insurer. For example, the insured know better of their health condition than the insurers. And the insured have no incentive to reveal their information. Riskier people are often more likely to buy insurance. This creates a highly unstable risk pooling. Risk pooling is the collection and management of financial resources so that large, unpredictable individual financial risks become predictable and are distributed among all members of the pool. In this case, riskier customers pay less than they should, safer customers pay more than they should, and the risk premium is higher than they should be. Then you may ask, how can we find out the landmark, the riskier customers? Well, we hence need data. In the current age of big data and Internet of Things, we can easily find a network of devices that exchange data and interact with each other. Examples are smartphones, smartwatches, smart home, and smart cars. Smartwatches keep a data log of our heart rate, walking distance, walking pace, sleeping pattern, and have functions like fall detection. In addition, Glucose monitors keep an eye on our glucose level and insulin level. Cardiac monitors keep track of our heart rate. Hence, we have an explosion of data. Then this leads us to another question. We now have a gigantic pool of data. How should we do it to enhance our experience in insurance? So, let's take car insurance as our main example. Vehicle insurance is insurance for cars, trucks, motorcycles, and other road vehicles. Its primary use is to provide financial protection against physical damage or bodily injury resulting from traffic conditions and against liability that could arise from incidents in a vehicle. For this instance, we can make good use of the data we collect from a telematic. Speed patterns, braking patterns, distance from other cars, turn signals, car mileage, driving distance, seat belt usage, and travel routes are all useful data that vehicle insurance companies can analyze to determine the risk premium. Combining this information can generate a driving score. And not only that, this data can help with accidents prevention by analyzing the data in real time and warning the customers before accidents happen. Data can also assist accident reporting by automating the process and suggesting suitable help. Driving score is of particular importance in the data analysis in vehicle insurance. Insurance companies will take a look at how often and how much the speed limit is exceeded. They will measure the number of jacks per kilometer. They will try to see if the driver keeps a two-second distance from other cars and how often the driver uses the signal light before turning. When we are driving, we can use a stopwatch to measure the duration of two seconds. Usually, we will count by saying one Mississippi for one second and so on. So one Mississippi, two Mississippi is two seconds. On top of safe driving distance, Insurance companies will investigate how long the driver drives consecutively, and if the car appears on the traffic black spots often, data analysts will combine this data and do a linear regression to get the driving score. Another way data is used in driving is the driver drowsiness detection. The system detects if the driver is falling asleep by having a detection algorithm. 
the facial landmark detector finds the human face and returns 68 points. Then, it is implemented in the open source library Delibd. For each frame, it calculates the eye aspect ratio and checks whether the eye aspect ratio is lower than the threshold. The eye aspect ratio, EAR, refers to the ratio between the height and the width of the eyes. If there are several consecutive frames of the eye aspect ratio lower than the threshold, the driver will be determined as strong C, and an alarm will be played. The alarm will wake up the driver and it will prevent accidents. For professional drivers, a report will be sent to their supervisors and drivers who fall asleep often should be charged more by the car insurance companies. AI is not only beneficial to the evaluation of the risk premium, but it also simplifies the claim management. The problem with claims is that there is a lot of tedious and routine paperwork. And the obvious solution is that AI can be used to automate the claim process. Let's use car insurance as an example again. AI automates claim reports by analyzing the car telematics. The damage severity or claim estimate can be generated from pictures or videos. Furthermore, chatbot can be used to suggest suitable help. Information extracted from claim forms, damage reports, and receipts can be used in forward detection to flag out suspicious cases for further investigation. In fraud detection, the main job is to find out if the customers collude with others to file forward or exaggerate claims. Examples are doctors performing unnecessary examinations and drivers faking accidents. AI can help flag suspicious claims by looking at the gigantic pool of data to see if similar patients receive similar treatments and if there were any anomalies on the telemetrics before the accidents. In short, AI is the hope of the insurance perfection. Not only does it allow the insurance companies to collect real-time data, with AI, insurers can estimate risk more accurately, screen out the reckless customers, provide personalized insurance policy, provide feedback to the insured, incentivize the customers to engage in less risky activities, and alert customers in abnormal or emergency situations. This leads to less claims cases and ultimately lower insurance fees. AI can also turn accidents compensation to accident prevention, automate claim processes, and detect forward claims. This is the conclusion I wish you can take home with you after watching this video. And see you next time.